what's going on guys? Wanted to uh, first of all wish everybody a happy 4th of July. Uh, it is the day after Independence Day, July 5th. It's been a little bit since I made a video, but uh, I wanted to give the vines a chance to uh, get caught up and get some things done so I can show you what's going on now. First and foremost, it is July 5th. It is time to uh, fertilize the vines for the third time now. Um, we do it the beginning of every month, so we'll have that. But I wanted to show you my Father's Day present I've been promised to tell you guys about. My wife got it for me. I believe it was from Amazon. But uh, she got me one of these tape guns, which is fantastic. Uh, got 10 rolls of tape. Staples and the staple gun. Now I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to use this. You know, you put your tape over top of the vine, close it, and there you go. The nice thing about it is you close it once. And it pulls the tape and then the second time you close it you close it a little harder and it staples the tape it makes it a lot easier to tie up the vines that's for sure uh, I think it was $25 so it's it's nothing that's too expensive um, I'm gonna show you last time I talked to you guys we uh, talked several of the vines and uh, we're looking to establish cordons I want to show you what's going on with those vines and with the cordons, uh, we've got some action. So let's take a walk and I'll show you what's going on there. All right. See you guys in a sec. All right, guys. So before we go any further, I want to talk to you about something that I learned, one of the lessons I learned. Uh, I have mulched down every row now. Okay. Hey, Ginge. Uh, I have mulched, mulched down every row now. It is a lesson that I've learned that yes, you should have something down your rows because if you don't, the grass, the weeds, they get out of control and um, it gets to be a pain in the butt to try to mow in between each individual vine. So I did throw down some uh, mulch and it is controlling the grass and the weeds for me. It's a, it's a bit of a lifesaver. So yes, put something down the middle of your rows if you don't want to be harassed with having to weed whack and mow. So here's Concord number one that we topped. Last time I talked to you, we cut it off right there, okay? Now, you see these little buds here? Those buds burst into cordon. This guy is not quite ready to go down yet. I don't want to force him, but I've got myself a 16 inch long cordon there and I'm waiting for that guy or that guy to burst into another cordon to take out this one. This guy here, another one that I topped, as you can see, I cut him right here. And here is cordon number one, and here is cordon number two. This guy's gonna go out this way. This guy is gonna go out this way. Uh, there's another one down here as a backup. I'm not gonna need it, but I'm gonna let him burst, and then I'm gonna cut them off as long as those two don't uh, get damaged. Vine number three. He is now well past the top wire. Uh, and I've actually tried something different. I've let these guys burst already and Those are my cordons so I can take this guy out here and I can take this guy Out here So this guy is doing well that'll give me three to the top wire with cordons And this guy this guy is the one that I screwed up and I put the tape gun right through the top Well, he's got a he's got a bud there and he burst open now. So this is going to be my new growing tip, and i got to take him about 18 inches up to the top wire, and then we're good there. Now, look at this right here. 
okay? Let me tell you what. I thought deer were a problem. Japanese beetles. Japanese beetles will do that to your vines if you let them. They will tear your ass up. Uh, they are a blight. They're like locusts. Um, we've had rainy, sunny, rainy weather, uh, and it's very good for bugs. So we are we are trying to fight the Japanese beetles. Um, I am using a bottle of seven ready to use, and right there, Japanese beetles. Screw you, beetles. Uh, Bobex. Bobex. The uh, deer repellent? Man, that's working. I haven't had a deer problem in forever. This guy here, this Niagara here, he's growing real well. This Concord, this, this is Marty. There's Wally. Marty is smoking Wally right now. So, yeah. Everything's going good right now, guys. The socks, I spray it down with the Bobex. It holds the scent a little bit longer. It's working pretty good. Niagara's are doing well. Concord are just killing it. Concord are incredible. Especially the Thai Thai Concord. Incredible. But that second row of Niagara from Thai Thai, yeah, they're doing real well too. All right, be right back, guys. All right, guys, so that's the progress of the vineyard right now. A couple little tips. Watch those Japanese beetles. Bob X for deer. Seven for the beetles. Um, do not be afraid to cut your vines. They are extremely resilient and they bounce back pretty quickly. We're in July. I have July. I have August. Part of September. Those are all part of the growing season. So I've got two and a half more months. I'm looking to have cordons on at least my um, at least my uh, Concords. My bag of 10, 10, 10 fertilizer that I got from Home Depot. What about like 15, 17 dollars? I still got I don't know two or three more months worth of it left. So I'm gonna put this on all my vines first. Uh, you know, beginning of the month and. Uh, I'll check back with you guys in about a week. Until then, Jay, Heavy Metal Vines, wishing you all the best. Happy 4th of July. Rock on.